all right it's now much later into the day i don't know if this is a new video or if this is the continuation of one that i'm already editing but hello in case this is a new one welcome to my video so i had a bit of a cut here you can see as well i'm level 45 now and i'm about a third or so into level 46 what i did was i joined my guild for another raid run we did nomaragon again or sorry i think it's nomaragon I've been saying Nomaragon constantly, but the final boss says Nomaragon. And I'm going to assume that a, a, a boss, you know, who lives in the raid knows the pronunciation. So I'm going to try and say Nomaragon, which I think is how it's pronounced, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, a lot of cool things happened. First of all, incredible raid run. I learned so much about the encounters. We wiped a couple times on the final boss, but I learned a lot about the button pressing system and I actually had a proper task and I and I did it and it was like a very spicy run. We almost died, like just barely scraped by. It was really cool, but we did it. Um, I got a drop. I got the Glimmering Gizmo Blade. This makes me a little bit sad that I did throw away the offhand earlier today. Probably a bad call in hindsight, but you know, at that point, I didn't know. So I'm kind of struggling figuring out which weapons are good, which weapons are bad. I mean, I know it's good. Don't get me wrong. The Glimmering Gizmo Blade looks really good. And it probably is better than the Rod of the Ancient Sleepwalker, but not on its own. It's probably better when combined with an offhand that's also pushing it over the edge. Because I'm going to be giving up 11 Intellect, 14 Spirit, 7 Spell Power. Like, there's just too much I'm giving up, so I need... I need to find an offhand that I can combine with the Glimmering Gizmo Blade, but I'm happy to have it because I did a quick Google search, and from what I understand, Glimmering Gizmo Blade pretty much was best in slot phase 2 gear. Obviously, we're in phase 3 now, and the Sunken Temple is out, and there's better gear there. But from my understanding, Glimmering Gizmo Blade was pretty much best in slot when Nomergon was the final rate. So that was really cool. Also, I've had my quest log open for a bit, so you guys will have been able to tell. But, essential artificials, done. Um, no gain, done. Gyro drillmatic excavationers, done. I got a lot of stuff done. Now, not all of them are done. You know, I couldn't really figure out how everything worked. Some of the stuff I, I think I'm starting to figure out, but some of the stuff I just don't know. Anyway, I'm standing in front of this place here because one of the quest NPCs is here. And of course, even though the raid edit will be out without you guys, because, you know, I don't want to bog down the videos with me going like through the raid again and again and again and again and i'll keep you up to date as to what happened in the raid and i'll you know every time i go into a new raid i'll definitely cover it but if i'm gonna be doing weekly raids and stuff you know i'm gonna have it on screen every single time so you might see like jumps in experience where i'm gonna be raiding in between but i'll keep you informed no worries anyway we have ozzy togglefold right here who had a quest for us i'm kind of waiting for this guy to you know talk to the npc so that hopefully i'm not gonna get interrupted because i think this this is one of those npcs that gets easily interrupted if my memory serves me correct let's see aussie togglefold can't you see we're trying to cure an entire species of gnomes here we need more of the green glow well i bought you a full leaden collection vial so um do with that as you please Excellent work. The time has come to test the new formula. If this works, not only should that captured leopard gnome be cured, but I should have a full head of hair. Stand back. Well, I'm not sure which part is more important. Also, where is this leopard gnome that... Oh, the captured leopard gnome. I hadn't actually seen him. Hold on. That guy looks... Um, disturbing. Can I help you? Daylight right, here we go. So, we get a nice 7.6k experience again, pushing us forward with 117k this time. Also, 1.5 gold, which is always nice to get. And now we get a follow-up quest. We get the only cure is more green glow. Not only was your sample insufficient in quantity, it was also impure. What we require is more green glow. The trogs are obviously not irradiated sufficiently to fulfill our needs. You will have to go into the Merrigan, Nomergon. You will have... Uh, and bring back some radioactive fallout straight from the tap. I'm speaking of the irradiated slimes, lurkers, and horrors. Be warned, the containment of this type of fallout is difficult. You may need to make several attempts with the vial until a suitable sampling is recovered. All right, I'm probably going to go into this raid again anyway, so that's that's fine. Travel to a Nomergon and bring back high-potency radioactive fallout. Be warned, the fallout is unstable and will collapse rather quickly. 
Aussie will also require your heavy Latin collection file when the task is complete. All right, so we have a new Normagon quest. That's fine. I was hoping to clean up the, the list a little bit here because we have a lot of quests in here that, that are kind of just sitting there, you know, until I go back into and into raiding more. Anyway, we have two more quests, which uh, one of them is completed in Ironforge and one is completed in Stormwind. It feels strangely rewarding that the raid is in my starter zone. And the reason for that is that last time I was here, you know, I was this wide-eyed adventurer and everything was new to me and you know i i didn't really know what to expect of the raids and i just had such a long adventure in front of me and that's not to say that the adventure is over you know we still have a lot of stuff to explore but i like how you know now i'm back in the same zone but instead of talking about you know expanding my bag as my main priority i'm talking about getting gear i'm talking about raiding you know i'm talking about all of these end game things which feels like a nice evolution and i love how it all took place in the same map oh i also still have the dps meter on the screen now don't be fooled because i was on bomb closing duty so my actual dps wasn't as high but the cool thing is the bosses where i was able to dps previously if i remember correctly i think i was hitting like 90 to 95 dps when i tried my best to get a lot of dps going I broke 140 today, which probably isn't a big amount. But for me, that's like a 50% boost in my DPS, which feels good, you know? Like, I still wasn't competing with the top players, but I was distancing myself a little bit from the bottom DPS, and I was more into, like, the, the mid-tier, which felt really good, you know? And it, it, it speaks to the gear progression that we've been getting so far. Anyway, clock mode, span a span. Do you have the essential artificials? I I do. You have a great day now. Oh, thank you very much. You got them. Now I can begin my new experiments. I can't thank you enough, EK. Your bravery. You are bravery. Thank you for the typo. Has advanced Gnomis research by a leap and a bound. All right, we get three gold, I think, for that. Be seeing you. Ooh, and a nice chunk of experience. I love it. Lots of gold. Lots of XP. And a slightly emptier quest list. Really good. Anyway, let's head over to Stormwind next. All right, showing you the challenge. We are back. Pleased to meet you. If this were a race, you would have lost by now. I mean, it only took me like a week or two. Don't worry about it. I got the parts for you. You can get them yourself next time. Very good. This will do nicely, okay? One a gyro drillmatic excavation fixed. 398 left to go. I mean, you give me a repeat quest and I'm going to go farm that. It's fine. So, the thing is here, I can pick up these shelly mittens, which give me less armor. They give me more intellect and spirit, which sounds nice in theory. But I think I actually think the increased damage done by shadow spells and effects by up to nine. That is pretty big, right? You know, I'm. This is where I'm struggling. Like, I, I, I know which stats I want. You know, I want intellect. I want spirit. I want, um, you know, spell uh, damage improvement. Um, I heard I need hit rate. I haven't really seen hit rate much, at, if at all. But you know, I think I need hit rate. So I know which ones I want, but I don't know how they compare to each other. Like, does getting eight intellect and eleven spirit? Does that make up for me losing 9 spell power? I don't know. So I guess I will pick it up and I won't sell them. I'll hold on to them. Normally I would pick Shoney's dismantling tool just to be able to vendor it and have a bit more gold. But I guess I will grab the Shilly Mints and... See if I can figure out how the step priorities really work. Off and away. Anyway, we get a nice amount of experience as well. And that means we are now halfway... To level 46, guys. The cap is incoming. So, just for clarification purposes, it is now. Well, it's currently the 3rd of June. It will be the 4th of June pretty soon. <laughs> and I think. I mean, a date hasn't been announced as far as I know. But I think phase 4 is coming around the 20th of June, somewhere in that area. So, that would still give me a 
a solid two weeks. And I need four and a half levels. So that should be very, very, very easy to achieve, even with my current pace of playing. So, yeah, we're going to cap, guys. We're going to cap before the season moves on. Although, I guess you will see this video, you know, way later than... Um, you know, phase four will be over by the time this video goes live. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will be back soon with more content. Not quite sure what I'm going to do, going to be doing next, but I'll figure something. So have a wonderful day, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you around.